Hello, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Today is June 4th. Um, hopefully it'll go up today um, if I don't have any technical difficulties. Excuse my voice. I am having a cold right now and so hopefully I don't sound too nasally. I'm sure I do because I can hear it. But anyway, so this is my uh, what I made in May. Um, May was actually a busy month. First of all, Welcome, I'm Natita, Natural Dane. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers um, and everybody who's been following along, giving great advice and little tips and stuff here and there. I probably have at least one thing I might ask your advice on as well today. But um, May, I made quite a few things, um, which was the plan. The only thing I did not make was my husband's shirt. Never got around to it. Actually, the last week of May, I got really sick. I even had to come home two days in a row from work because I was that sick. So um, something, well, that one thing did not get finished. And um, But anyway, let me get into it because this I don't want this to be a long video. And it looks like I'm crooked. So let me see if I can fix this. Okay, so hopefully I'm not as crooked anymore. One of the things I am wearing is the, um, I'll pop it right here, is the M6886 View A, and I added the flounce, flounce sleeves. Um, and this, is, oh, and the, uh, the bow tie, and this is a very long, you'll see in the picture, i also put um, a couple pictures so you can see. Um, kind of the length where it goes um but this was that um dash sewing dash i told you about there was a link to it um i'll remember to put the link below but anyway i made two i made two i wore this one today to church um and so just getting home feeling nasally but anyway if it's very nice love it it's very comfortable i actually did not intend for the flounce to be the sleeve to be this long what I didn't do was measure how long how far down the sleeve was going which stops here on the original pattern um, and I actually wanted the flounce to stop here um, <laughs> but I didn't measure it I didn't even think to measure it so you know just one another one of those things um, but it I still love I love it I, I love the way it turned out, even though I wanted the flounce to be up here. Um, but in the future, I will make sure to measure. Um, but one of the things, I, I don't know if you can tell because the thread matches pretty good in here, is that I did, I'm now on my knits. I used to use my walking foot and a stretch needle, but this time I used a stretch needle and just used a slight zigzag stitch. And I like that much better and it say, seems to feed through better in the um, machine as well although one of the things that I noticed and I can't really pull it up to show you but the hem my a couple of my threads popped and so I'm not sure why it's still the zigzag stitch I did notice when I was finishing a couple of my knits um, I forgot to switch the needle like I would switch between projects and so I would switch out the stretch needle put back in a regular needle but then when I start working on the, the knit again I would forget and I don't know how far I would get in so maybe that's what it was because I did switch the needle back once I realized it but I don't know if that was during this process with the hem or not and I actually wanted to do a flounce on this dress on the hem um, using Karina lifting pins and needles um, tip that I shared or um, link that I shared before and um, and I'll share it again here uh, but I didn't get the circumference right for the bottom of the dress I didn't measure it right and so there was a gap where I couldn't the flounce wouldn't go all the way around the bottom of the hem so that was just that was my fault I didn't measure it properly but that's okay um, the other one so I made two I made two of these and if you follow me on Instagram you saw me I wore this yesterday um, and it's untied right now, but here's the, the bow tie. It's a very long tie. It's actually longer than the dress. <laughs> um, and I wore it with this, um, little cardigan, which I did not make. I want to make these. Um, uh, I'm not looking to knit. I'm looking to, you know, get the fabric that's kind of like this and just sew it, um, 
like this one was done. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yes, again, I finished it off. Um, I do did the roll over. I don't really care for that. Not with knits in particular, because they can be so finicky. But it turned out fine. No, no issues. My neck on this one turned out a whole lot better than the neck on this one. I don't know if you can tell. It's higher on one end. And that's because I was rushing at the well I wasn't rushing I was towards the end and I wanted to finish it and it wasn't until I finished that I noticed oh my goodness this is lopsided and so but luckily you can't see it with my hair and everything <laughs> so um but yeah him I finished the hem both the same on both of these so it surged and then turned up and then um stitched all the way around and the same thing happened on this too the threads popped and it could be the the length of the stitch is too long because um, the, yeah, I don't know. I'm still going to have to play with that. But I do like the um, zigzag stitch using that on my knits now um, going forward. So I wore this one yesterday and wore this one today. Um, you already know about my retro dress. I'm not going to even talk about this at all. I'll just leave a link to the video up above. Where I gave a full review. We all know how happy I was with that finish. Now, um, I did also, um, you'll see now, Simplicity 8296. I did two of them. Some Two Simplicity 8296. Let me show you the first one. And I will pop a picture here. So you can see how they look. The turquoise one fits really nice. Um, I don't mind it. The one thing I will do, and I always try all my things with the same bra. Because <laughs> it's just easier that for me that way. Unless I have that, you know, something special and I need to wear a different type of bra. But here it is. Um, this here, this part... Where we had to do this whole band and everything. That was new to me. So I did struggle with that just a little bit. But again, I'm in a Facebook group where this was a sew along. And so been walking through that piece helped. <clears throat> the one thing is, um, I thought it was relatively easy to do. I've never done anything with this across. I'm not a, uh, what is it called? Um... A strapless bra person so that's why I put these on here however one of the things I, I will take into account in the future when I do anything like this is to always measure the the width of the strap um, to cut make sure it will cover up any bra that I'm wearing and so and for me you'll see in the picture or you can tell um, these are too long so I needed to measure you know where this is and where the strap you know will go over so this turn it turned out to be too long so i will i will um take these in i definitely will take these in and it's real easy to do because the finish is you just sewing it in there so all i have to do is just unpick that and take it down probably an inch on each side is probably what i will do and then it'll fit nice and snug but other than that, I do like the way it turned out. Now you will see by this picture, <laughs> the second one was a hot mess. And I'm in they were cut exactly the same, everything, but I honestly believe it was the fabric choice. Um this is just not this was not a good fabric um choice at all. I don't even know what this is. Um I don't know what it is. Horrible fabric choice. And the, um, which I've never had happen on me, but the elastic flipped in it. So, I mean, I know how to tack that down um, so it doesn't flip again. You know, I'll make sure it's right side up. And then I'll, I'm going to tack it down. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This thing is horrible. Tight, as you can see in the picture. Horrible. Um... I am going to create a Poshmark account. Maybe I'll just put it on there for sale. Um, but, <clears throat> I mean, it's cute. It turned out nice. 
the fit is just way too small though obviously and then so <clears throat> that wasn't a, a success um but the first one was so i'm happy about that and then the last thing you already see me wear this with my blue dress i made the kimono the simplicity kimono i'll pop a picture here here it is and what I did, what I typically do is I always have to make adjustments for my patterns. But what I did not consider with this is that I probably didn't need to do that because it's already built to be very flowy, very loose. And so me, let me just show y'all. And I'm going to do something with this. Any suggestions? This is the suggestion. First of all, when I made it, it called for bias binding. I didn't have any. So when I got to that part, I was like, oops. And so I didn't do anything with that part because <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. But uh, as you can see, way too big. And I'll pop the picture too. This thing is it's huge. It's like a tent. Way too big. And it's a nice fabric. Nice enough fabric. It's see-through. Um, any suggestions on what I should do with this? I'm not, I'm not a, uh, an alterations girl. So... Um, I'm, don't say pick apart and make it smaller to fit you. That's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> but it's enough fabric here to make maybe a tank. I can maybe make a tank out of it. Um, yeah, I can maybe recreate it to do something different. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to, you know, resize this and all of that. And I... I can't seem to be, I've gotten more and more crooked, but so if you have any suggestions what I can turn this kimono into, let me know. Um, so that's basically it in my next video. Hopefully I'll be sounding a lot better again. Apologize for all the nasal sound. Um, but the next video will be my June plans or, um, and, or, um, it will also be, I'm meeting up with two people, um, that I've met, um, on the online, uh, so to fit, if you follow Andrea here on YouTube, um, uh, many people follow her. She's fitting. She does excellent fitting classes, different things like that. She has an online Facebook group as well. Um, she does a lot with, um, slopers all of that she's just excellent so i'm meeting up with her on friday and then on saturday i'm meeting up with bethany freely born i believe is her youtube name and we're meeting up on saturday we're going fabric shopping or at least looking at fabric seeing you know seeing what we like because i'm new to the area so she's going to take me around to a few places so yeah that is it that's all i got uh any questions Again, any suggestions on what to do with this, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about everything that I've made, any comments or anything like that. It will be greatly appreciated, everybody. So have a wonderful, blessed rest of your week, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.